63 years ago, I delivered a short letter to President Eisenhower at these gates. Today, after over 40 years of research and struggle, we are sharing with President Obama the fruits of that struggle. And once again, asking for presidential action. This time, we are not merely advocates for our family, but for our country. We're giving the United States government the chance to acknowledge the injustice done to our mother. This is a test to see if our government has the courage and commitment to true justice to acknowledge the terrible wrong it did to her and us. We're not asking for a pardon. This is not something that goes to the Justice Department. Ethel Rosenberg was not guilty, and therefore she doesn't need a pardon. Uh, what we're asking for is a presidential statement that in effect nullifies the guilty verdict and states that her execution was wrongful. She was taken away from us when I was three and my brother was seven. She was killed when I was six and he was ten. Uh, there could be nothing, I mean, since we can't bring her back to life, there could be nothing more satisfying to us than to have the government acknowledge that this shouldn't have happened, that this was a wrong.